So if you're thinking about getting a Veer Cruiser XL, this is the video to watch, but I have a question for you. Does it ever feel like you are hurting your children? That they are running all over the playground or all over the zoo, wherever you are in all different directions, and you just want to keep them together? Because I know this was an experience that I had as a parent. I'm thinking about my own kids. So the way we had it set up is we had Ari and Mira together, 23 months apart, and then we had Zev four and a half years later. So we had two older-ish kids, and then we had a baby. And I had to take them to the playground or the zoo. We liked to get out. We didn't want them by their screens all the time. So what did we do? So we'd have the older kids maybe on scooters and the little one in a stroller, and then it would be time to go. And again, I'm just trying to herd these children like their cats. And if I had a product like a Cruiser XL, it would have been just a complete game changing for me. Because this is a product that can take up to four kids. It could take two older kids, and then you can add a infant car seat to it to take a baby with you as well. So this is a great product that transitions from your stroller-ish world to another world of transporting your children um, with ease and with comfort. Again, I just am thinking about you as parents, trying to make your life easier, and I just know that wrangling children is exhausting. I know I was completely exhausted when I was a young parent as well. This is awesome, and it's really high quality. I just put it together, and let me just talk to you about what it comes with. It comes with two cup holders, and it comes with this awesome tray. So it's, you can see it's easily to put on, easy to put on and easy to put off. Two places for sippy cups or for bottles, and you can pop it on. I do not have, I have a regular Veer Cruiser behind me. I'll show it to you in a second so I can compare the two, but you can add a car seat adapter to this. You can also add an extra luggage, um, sort of an extra storage compartment to the back of it if you want extra storage, because if you have the two kids, actually you have the four kids in here, you may want to have a space for storage, which would make sense. You can also add sort of a comfort toddler seat to this. Now you can only add two of those, one on this side and one on that side, but if you're going to use this for two toddlers, like I would with Audrey and Mira at the time, I would put some comfort seats in here as well. Um, but the cool thing about this, and this is true for the Veer Cruiser XL as, rel as well as the original Veer Cruiser, is that it's really easy to fold. And so what you do is you take off that tray, and there's a little, easily, the like, little button. Pull that in, fold that down, fold this down, and then you take this right here, and you fold that down, and you can pop this into the car. It is about 30, a little bit over 35 pounds, so it isn't the lightest thing in the world, but it actually, for something that can take four children, it's not too bad. It's just a little bit heavier than sort of a, a standard double side-by-side, -side, like all-terrain stroller. So it is not going to be, and it actually, I know it's, that it's like 37 and a half pounds, but it doesn't actually feel that heavy to me. Uh, you know, weird flex, as my daughter would say, but it doesn't feel that heavy to me. And you can also easily remove the wheels for extra space, so that's cool as well. And to open it back up, you can easily do that. One, two, three. There are little storage compartments on the side, which is, um, which is great, so you can put extra stuff if you don't want to get that extra storage bag. So the whole concept behind the Veer products, the Veer Cruiser and the Veer Cruiser XL, is that you may be accustomed to pushing a stroller. You probably are. And especially if you are a hiker or if you go out on adventures with your kids, you may have a double all-terrain stroller or a single all-terrain stroller. And pushing is fine, but when you pull a stroller, it is way easier to maneuver and get across when you're going, especially like if you're going to the beach or again, like really, really rough terrain. In fact, it's funny, I, this came to my warehouse yesterday and I took it in a cart and I actually had a, it was so much easier for me to pull the cart versus push the cart to get through the warehouse. So I just, it was just really evidence to me that a product like this is going to be very easy to pull your children right along. Um, they can take um, 55 pounds per seat, so it takes a lot of weight, and the quality of this product is just totally, totally phenomenal. Um, it also does have an adjustable handlebar. You this quick lock open here. It can, uh, you can make it go higher, you can make it go lower, etc. You put the brake on right here, so if you need to have it in a brake, and then you can easily kick it in and it is um, and it's ready to go again. Um, now, if you're comparing this to, now if you're watching this video because you want to compare it to the original Cruiser, well, I conveniently have it right here. 
a um, couple of really important things to point out is that you can, you can see I have the canopy, that's an accessory on the original cruiser. You can get a very similar canopy, but it's a little bit wider on the Cruiser XL. Now, in terms of the dimensions of this, the only real dimensional difference between the two is that this, the Cruiser XL is four inches wider. So the length and the other and the height of these things are the same, which means that something that's really cool is they have these custom panels that you can get for the cruisers to like really trick it up. And you can, so because that the length of these things are the same, you can replace the panel on the XL or the cruiser um, uh, with one of those panels. And if you have a cruiser already and you're upgrading to the XL you, and you already have this custom colorful panels, you can move it over to the XL. Um, just to confirm, we have the width of this guy is 23 and a half inches and the width of this is 19 and a half inches. Fun fact, um, up a baby Vista, Bugaboo Fox, Bugaboo Donkey in the single position, these are all about the same width. So this, even the XL is going to be the same width as a, a standard um, uh, a, a standard single stroller, not even a double stroller. Tw double strollers are typically around 30 inches wide or 29 and a half inches wide. Some are even 32 inches wide. So for a double or a quadruple situation, the Cruiser XL is going to be really fantastic. So you can see that there is a car seat adapter. So you can't use the car seat adapter for the regular rear cruiser on the XL. You can see it's not as wide to do that. So you can get a, the Cruiser XL version, uh, but it looks very similar to this. Um, but the Cruiser XL does work with a host of infant car seats. This one works with the new Nipipa, but you can get the Cruiser XL with lots of different infant car seats if you don't have sort of a maxi cozy compatible car seat, which is a really nice, really nice thing. So I think this could be a really fantastic product for you as your family grows. You can get it for two children, one child, four children, et cetera, or for the whole neighborhood. Um, if you like this video, please give us a like. It makes a huge difference for the channel. And if you wanna see more videos like these, please subscribe to Magic Beans Videos. Again, remember, we're here to make your lives easier by recommending the best products for growing families. I will see you at another Magic Beans video.